go all the way with PHP, you have to understand arrays. An array is basically a container that groups values together. Let's say we want to keep track of my measurements, my bust, waist, and hips. In this not so hypothetical example, we could create some variables. Bust equals 32, waist equals 24, and hips equals 32. That's not too bad. But what if we started adding more things, like my height, weight, eye color, hair color, and shoe size? Creeps. That's a lot of variables to keep track of. This is where arrays come in. Bust open your hello world.php. Let's make an array of my babe stats. My bust, waist, and hips. Setting babe creates the array. We can access parts of the array, pulling out whatever we need, like this. If we wanted to add my height in inches, we could do. The empty brackets mean that 70 will be added to the end of the array. We can access the value the same way. We can also define arrays all at once, like this. If we leave out the keys, then PHP will automatically create numeric keys, starting at zero. This is working well, but it's going to get difficult to remember what value is in what position. Another way we could do it is to use strings as keys, like this. This makes things easier to read, and you don't have to remember if bust is the first item in the array or if it was hips. Accessing the values in the array now looks like this. We could add my height to the array like so. Then access it like before. Arrays can use strings or numbers as keys, and anything as a value, even other arrays. We could add my eye color. Or we could add the types of modeling I do with another array. Then we could access the first type of modeling I do using zero. Now you know your way around arrays, and we're halfway through. Next, we'll get down and dirty with loops. Eyes up here, boys.